Hello everyone! I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I hope your new year is uh, safe and wonderful as well. I do have my candle and wax melt empties for December. I got through a lot more this month uh, than last month. And uh, the puppies are sleeping so they shouldn't be uh, disturbing me. And um, actually Frank uh, put a puppy door in uh, which is a wonderful thing. I wish we had done it years ago. I'll just give you a quick little view. So I won't have to get up every five minutes throughout the day to let them in and out. Um, so there is our new little puppy door. So it took a little bit of uh, DIY work there for Frank to put it in. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, uh, it's magnetic. And they just go in and out as they please. There's no draft, so I don't have to worry about uh, the cold coming in. In the summertime, I don't have to worry about bugs coming in. And yeah, it's uh, it's wonderful. It's <laughs> it's a lifesaver um, because they're in and out so, so much. And uh, I'm getting my exercise, getting up and down all the time. So that is just, I mean, oh my God. Um, those doggy doors are the most wonderful invention, and I'm so glad we have it. So even if they do get up, they're not going to be bugging me uh, to let them out. Alrighty. So, anyway, um, that was totally random, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm really excited about that puppy door. It doesn't take much to excite me. Okay, so, candle-wise. Uh, so, right now, I'm going to, this will be done today, and I got it in my little sled here. And this is the Colonial Candle. Oh, uh, what's it called again? Warm Berry Crumble. And oh my gosh, this is so good. This is the 24 ounce uh, two wick candle. Now some of these Colonial Candles, uh, they t do take a while to pull out. Uh, and sometimes at the edges, they don't quite pull out. But what I did with this one, uh, I took a butter knife and uh, while it was melted, I just pushed the wick over to where it wasn't quite pooling out and I haven't had any trouble since. It's been a beautiful burn. No puny wicks. This is about an 8 out of 10 throw. This does smell like warm berry uh, cobble. There's not a lot of pastry in it. It's just mostly um, a mixture of berries. I can smell cherry, I can smell strawberry, raspberry, blackberries, it's just, it, it, it's just so, so good. I am uh, really going to miss this one. It is uh, such a yummy smell. It just reminds me of my mom when she was baking when we were little kids. It was just, uh, it just brings that homey feeling in and uh, yeah, what an excellent candle. I just absolutely love this one. I don't want to see it go, but and then the other one I'm going to finish up today, it's not too much left at all, is the Bath & Body Works Evening Hearth. And this has actually been an excellent throw. I, I really like the dark blue wax against these gold leaves. I think it's very, very pretty. It is a smoky woodsy scent, uh, but there's just enough sweetness in there uh, so it's not kind of a cloying, smoky scent. I just... Oh. This one has been an excellent burn. No issues with the wick at all. Um, it's probably about a six out of 10 on the throw scale, I would say. I just burned this um, uh, in my bedroom mostly, and I really like uh, burning this during Vikings or other historical documentaries. It just kind of gives that atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, this has actually been a really good burn. I do have a backup of this. It would, uh, Probably wouldn't have minded being a little bit stronger, but um, certainly in my bedroom it, it did fine. So, but yeah, it's it's been a really good burn. Um, very happy with that one. And then uh, this is a white barred peppered plum, and like I love the color of the the jar, that dark purple plummy color. Oh, I just absolutely love that. Now, when I first burned this, I thought. It would be more plummy, but I, I, the first couple of burns, I thought, man, this is really clony, but in a good way. Um, I was just hoping there was more plum in there, but I don't know, is, is it uh, 
the more I burned it, the more I kind of picked up on that um, deep, rich, plummy, fruity scent. And so, yeah, it was it's just a, a nice combination of uh, the, the fruit and the clone. Um, and excellent burn. I had no issues with the wick, no puny wicks. Uh, it was a probably a, oh, I don't know, seven, probably an eight out of ten on the throw scale. It was, I really, really enjoyed this one, especially, um, uh, it's a really nice uh, bedroom scent. Really like that one. And then, this is DW, uh, sorry, this is 96 um, Vanilla Chai. Abby, what are you doing? Um... Now, uh, Lisa Love said that the, these 96 candles, I gotta get this out of the way before I burn myself. These 96 candles are actually like a, sis, a sister company uh, to DW Candles. Uh, this one, I, I was actually really, really happy with this one. It was a two wick smooth wax uh, candle and it did smell like chai. Now, a lot of chai, candles they're just more vanilla than anything but this truly smelled like the spicy the spices you get in chai tea or chai coffee beautiful beautiful scent i just loved it and it was an excellent burn no issues with the wicks um a strong throw probably uh, well i usually just burn this in my bedroom it just filled up my bedroom and wandered down the hall so it was an excellent throw uh, yeah, I was very, very impressed with this one. And this is our candle company, uh, Gr Grandma's Kitchen. And I think I bought about three of these when they were on sale on Amazon. And I did burn the lemon pound cake, and I was always told that it would have like a super duper strong throw, but mine wasn't that strong. Um, this is Grandma's Kitchen. It, it's a very... I got sit on my nose. It's a very warm cinnamon spice instead of that really sharp, hot cinnamon spice. It's very warm, cozy kind of cinnamon scent. It it did have a very good burn. Uh, there, um, now it's kind of messy on the sides because I was pulling out the wick there, uh, but it it was maybe about a medium throw. I mean, it kind of filled up the kitchen almost, not quite. Uh, but yeah, it would have been a lovely scent, just uh, could have been a little bit stronger, but I, I did smell it. And this is Yankee Candle Sleigh Bells Ring, and this was poured in 2014, I think it was. The uh, winter labels were just absolutely gorgeous that year. Just the Winter Wonderland one, this one, is just gorgeous labels. I think I got maybe two or three of them, but I couldn't smell them. They're like basically scentless. This one just took like 12 hours to pull out and even then it struggled. So I ended up just putting this in the uh, candle crock and I actually smelled it in the candle crock. I didn't think I'd have any luck, but I did smell it in the candle crock. It's a uh, winter berry scent, like a red currant kind of scent, more sweet than tart. But it was a very nice scent, um, but you had to use a candle crock. Yeah, they had just these little uh, glittery snowflakes on the jars too. I mean, they were just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, they, I, just, I just couldn't smell these ones. But yeah, I had to throw it in the candle crock. Um, I mean, that label, I just uh, love it, love it. And then uh, this is um, Bath and Body Works, May the Forest Be With You. And this one... Now, when I initially smelled it, I could just smell cedar. Uh, but when I was burning it, I could smell some pine. I could smell like the, the sap from the evergreen. Uh, so there, it was like a combination of uh, three different kind of woods all kind of rolled into one. So yeah, I really did like it. It was uh, probably about a seven or eight out of 10 on the throw scale. Uh, I'm trying to think about the wicks. I can't remember. Did I cotton ball it? I might have cotton balled it once, but uh, I, I don't remember any major issues with the burn. But yeah, I like that one. And that's it for Z candles. And then to move on to the wax melts, I got quite a few. Uh, this is the tea lights from uh, Yankee Candle, the morning roast. These actually did smell like 
coffee, more black coffee than um, uh, sugar and, and milk coffee. Uh, but yeah, these tea lights, I mean, they're just very, very light. I mean, I have to be standing basically over them to, to smell them. And uh, these ones I did pick up. Sometimes they had them at the discount stores, Winners and Marshalls Home Sense for $5.99, which is half price. So, And then this one I also picked up at uh, Home Sense. And these are the Yankee Candle uh, Warm Chestnut. A beautiful, beautiful, warm, nutty, woody kind of smell. Just love this one. But again, the tea lights are, like, even if I have four of them going at once, in a room, yeah, you, yes, you have to get pretty close to, to smell them. Um, I got one lone little colonial candle. This is a uh, blue spruce. And, oh, this was a yummy, it's a kind of a mix of eucalyptus and spruce and mint all kind of rolled into one. Uh, it did kind of filled up maybe half my family room. It wasn't overly strong, but you, I mean, you definitely could make it out. Um, so yeah, I did like that one. And then, uh, Sensationals. Chestnuts roasting on the open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. That, that's it, that's, that's all I gotta do. I'm not gonna torture you anymore. Uh, Sensational's Roasted Chestnuts. Love this one. It's so, so good. Oh, yum. It's, it's so warm. It's just a warm, nutty smell. And yeah, I've only, I, I'm not really sure that roasted chestnuts have much of a smell because my neighbors across the street gave us some to eat. And oh, they're disgusting. They were just like dry as chalk and had no taste. He didn't season them. But I don't remember had them having any smell. But man, this is good. This is just that sweet, nutty smell. It's so warm and cozy. I just, I love this one. And I, this was the $1.88 sale they had at Walmart where they had the big bin with uh, the $1.88 tarts. And I do have uh, one or two backups of this. And it's also Rosa Chestnuts is in... Um, uh, county is it county fair or something like that love this one so good and oh thank goodness i have a lot of backups of this one because if i run out i'm gonna be it's gonna be a sad day and this is sensational's grandpa's workshop oh this is so good this is crushed cardamom and tobacco and cedar oh my gosh this is so good Oh, I, I mean, this is probably in the top five favorite scents of all time. I just absolutely love this one. It smells um, sort of like a very warm, soft cherry tobacco. Uh, it's just, I, I mean, I feel like throwing on my flannel up pajamas and, and crawling into bed right now. It's just so soothing. Oh, and strong. This sucker is strong. Uh, if I melted this, I might as well forget about melting anything else. Um, this is just... Oh, love that one. And this is Sensational's Papa Gayo. Um, bought this a few years ago. And yeah, this one I just really like for the bathroom. It's just uh, fresh. Uh, fresh, floral, clean. It's just a lovely, lovely scent. Oh, it is really, really good. It, it, so, it softens up quite a bit when it's melting. It's just a perfect bathroom scent. I, defending our territory. I cannot do bakery scents in a bathroom. I just cannot do it. I just... But fresh, clean scents, yes, I, I can do. This is ma maple apple glaze. I think... I think this might be a Canadian exclusive Sensationals. This one's strong. Again, it's one of those that if you burn something else, you might as well just extinguish it because this one kind of uh, dominates things. Uh, yeah, I, I do get a bit of that ma ma maple. Maple? Uh, maple, and I get some of the apple. And you put them together, you got maple. That's what I'm trying to get to. Um, anyway, this one's very strong, very yummy. And then, my next pile, this is another one I put in the bathroom. This is Daydreaming. 
a duo pack by Sensationals, Blue Sky, and Metal, Sh uh, ooh, Metal Breeze. Uh, yeah, this one's a definitely a very light, bright greenery kind of scent. There is some floral, but that bright uh, greenery scent uh, is more dominant. Perfect for the bathroom, good throw. This is Sensational's Glistening Snowflakes. And this is like a mint evergreen scent combined. This one was also very strong. I love peppermint scents or mint scents for the, the, the winter time. Mm. Did like that one. Uh, this is uh, Sensational Serenity Spa. Again, threw this in the bathrooms. This, now this leaned more to a clony scent. It was nice. I mean, I did like it, but it wasn't spa or soft enough for me. It was just a little too clony. So I don't think I'd repurchase that one. Uh, oh, Country Home Candles, which is a Canadian company. Uh, this is my favorite uh, laundry scent. Uh, it is just goes to another level this one this is flannel sheets by country home candle oh this is absolutely my favorite it, it truly does smell like fresh flannel sheets straight out of the dryer oh i don't know there's something about laundry scents i think when i remember distinctly laying in bed and i always slept with my blankie i called it a blankie that was my little security blanket. And my mom would come up from downstairs and she would have just finished doing the laundry. And she'd have my little blankie and she would give it to me and it'd be nice and warm from the dryer. My mom would give me a kiss. She'd give me a rub on the back. It just, I don't know, maybe it just invokes some wonderful memories. But this one, it is the best laundry scent ever. And this is Scentsy's uh, Scarlet woods i'm gonna burn myself on my candle scarlet woods this is a cranberry scent oh, yum this one uh i do like tart cranberry scents over i do like sweet cranberry but i i just like the tartness of a cranberry and this is more tart <clears throat> than sweet i think I, when it was burning i picked up a little bit like an evergreen kind of scent it's probably about a, a six or seven uh, throw on this one. Uh, I just didn't find that lasted that long though if I remember correctly. And this is Iced Winter Cranberry. I think this one, this one was tart too. Um, I a nice blend of tartness and sweetness in that. It was uh, decently strong. And then for my Yankee Melts, uh this is uh two tarts of uh yankees christmas eve and now uh, this wasn't very strong i can probably stick with the smaller room but it was so yummy it was just had those sweet uh, winter current smells very soft i really like that one just wish it was stronger uh this is uh Christmas cookie. So this is more vanilla than anything. Um, I was hoping it'd be more like a shortbread kind of scent. And it was quite light actually. And this is North Pole. I just put it in my warmer there in the corner. Um, yeah, actually it throws pretty good. It's just a really lovely peppermint scent. And what else do we have here? Oh, home for the holidays. This one is so yummy. I really like this one. Oh, I, I'll have to look up the notes. It's, it's Christmas spices. Um, it's not strong on the cinnamon. Uh, and if there is a cinnamon, it's very warm, not red hot, but there, maybe there's cloves in that in here. But it, it's very soft, spicy. Oh, I just, oh, I really like that one. Uh, I don't hear people talk about it too much. Um, I don't know if it's in the main lineup anymore, but I do uh, pick it up sometimes at SAS sales and that. And this is aromatic um, orange and evergreen. So I do like orange scents, like spicy orange scents mixed with evergreen in the winter time. But this one was just a little bit on the light side. So yeah, this one, I just find the Yankees need a smaller room now. Um, 
Oh, there's another Christmas cookie. And this is Sweet Fig in Pomegranate. And yeah, I, I like those deep, rich, uh, fruity scents uh, for the winter. And this was more sweet than tart. Um, actually, a fairly decent throw, this one. Probably a medium throw in like a larger room. Um, oh, that's it, guys. So yeah, I'm happy with the amount of um, the wax melts I got through. Yeah, I, uh, I haven't gone down to the States yet um, to pick up some other winter scents, but uh, God, I need more like I need a hole in the head. Uh, so I'm just concentrating on uh, getting through the ones that I have right now before stocking up anymore. Um, so yeah, this is New Year's Eve. Um, I have Sorry, my camera kind of overheated there. A lot of hot air around here, I guess. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm not, um, I haven't gone out for New Year's in quite a few years. I just have absolutely no desire. Uh, this family has been through way too much and um, instead of looking forward to a new year and a happy new year and everything like that, I just dread what's going to happen in the new year. And that's, Unfortunately, that's my mindset now. Uh, when you have one thing after another, after another, year after year after year, you just kind of dread what's coming instead of looking forward to what's coming. So um, it's not a great mindset to have, but uh, that's where I'm at. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, uh, yeah. Christmas, we don't um, exchange presents in our family. We just give to charities. Uh, Frank did uh, actually buy me tickets to the Toronto Raptors. Uh, we went down to Toronto uh, be about a week before Christmas and we took in a Toronto Raptors game and I was in heaven. We had just uh, seats about 17 uh, rows up from the court. Uh, I was I was just had the most wonderful time at that Toronto Raptors game and um, uh, that kind of made my year because <laughs> I'm a huge basketball fan. So uh, that was my present uh, from Frank. And um, yeah, so uh, that's that's the way I celebrated Christmas is going to a uh, Toronto Raptors game. So anyway, I hope everyone does have a happy and safe and wonderful new year. And give your loved ones a hug and kiss. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>